Hello guys, today I've got two batteries of 21700 size, the Samsung 48G rated at 4800 mAh and the LG M50 rated at 5000 mAh. The 21700 size is becoming more and more popular because it's a little bit bigger than the 18650 size but it offers much higher capacity. So let's compare with an 18650 size battery to see the difference in size and uh, a 26650 battery which is also rated at 5000 mAh as the LG cell here we go so you can see the difference in size Let's move on. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC A20, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've also used version 2.5 of my homemade battery holder. It holds a battery like this, or like this. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. LG M50 has absolutely no marking on its heat shrink. Its specs according to its datasheet are Nominal energy 18.20 Watt hours, minimum energy 17.60 Watt hours, minimum capacity 4850 mAh, nominal voltage 3.63 volts, standard charge current 1.455 amps, maximum charge current 3.395 amps, charge and voltage 4.2 volts, charge cutoff current 50 mA. Maximum discharge current 7.275 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. Uh, weight without washer 68 grams. The real weight of my M50 cell is 69.16 grams. Let's pass to the results of the test. LG M50 showed impressive 5104 mAh or 18.44 Watt hours at 0.2 C discharge rate, which is equal to 0.97 amps. At 5 amp discharge rate, it showed 4942 mAh or 16.62 Watt hours. At its maximum, 7.28 amps, it showed 4878 mAh or 16.09 Watt hours. I've also tried to discharge it at 10 amps and the result was uh, 4820 mAh or 15.43 Watt hours. But uh, I want to mention that 10 amps is above the maximum limit for this cell. The maximum is 7.28 amps, so it's not recommended to discharge it at 10 amps. The Samsung 48G cell which I've tested has the following marking. INR 21748G Samsung SDI M51. This cell has the following specifications according to its datasheet. Typical energy 17.4 Watt hours. Minimum energy 17.04 Watt hours. Typical capacity 4800 mAh. Hours. Minimum capacity 4700 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.6 volts. Standard charge current 1.44 amps. Maximum charge current 4.8 amps. 
charge and voltage 4.2 volts, charge cutoff current 96 milliamps, maximum discharge current 9.6 amps, discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts, maximum weight 69 grams. The weight of the real cell which I've got is 67.58 grams. So let's take a look at the results of the test. Samsung 48G showed 48.45 mAh or 17.57 Watt hours at 0.2C discharge rate, which is equal to 0.96 amps. At 5 amp it showed 47.46 mAh or 16.14 Watt hours. At its maximum 9.60 amps it showed 47.49 mAh or 15.48 Watt hours. Let's compare these cells at 0.2C discharge rate. I want to remind that 0.2C in case of M50 is uh, 0.97 amps and in case of uh, Samsung 48G it's uh, 0.96 amps. But despite the fact that M50 was discharged at higher rate, it showed uh, bigger capacity and higher energy. So the result of M50 was uh, 5104 mAh and uh, 18.44 watt hours versus 48.45 mAh or 17.57 watt hours in case of 48G. At 5 amp they showed very close results but M50 is a bit better than 48G. So the M50's result is 49.42 mAh or 16.62 watt hours versus 47.46 mAh or 16.14 watt hours in case of 48G. I've also decided to compare M50's result at 10 amp discharge rate with uh, the 48G's result at its maximum 9.60 amp discharge rate. So the M50's result is 48.20 million hours or 15.43 watt hours versus 48G's 47.49 million hours or 15.48 watt hours. As you can see, M50 is a bit better, but the results are almost similar. And don't forget that 10 amp discharge rate is above the maximum specified in M50's datasheet. So, in the end, we've got two great cells. The Samsung one has a little bit lower capacity, but it supports higher discharge rate in comparison with the LG and it's up to you which one to choose. So that's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel and look forward for new tests. Bye bye.